That must leave some serious hair around your house. Ah, yeah, I wouldn't believe. Depends, right? How many requests are we talking about? How much data are we talking about? You know, <laughs> and if it's a couple of megabytes, an in-memory database is perfectly fine, right? If it's a couple mm. of terabytes, it's probably not going to work. You know, how many requests are we talking? How often are they? You know, are we talking about a couple of requests every minute? Then the fact mm. that it uses a whole lot of resources and stuff might be fine. But if we're talking a couple of thousand requests every second, then, you know, things start to become a different different problem and different solution, mm. right? Yeah, I think I think that comes down to making making architectural decisions based on real information rather than assumptions up front. Better to leave some of those decisions to a bit further down the road. So you've got you know you've got a bit more information about what genuinely you are going to be storing. Yeah, I've had this discussion. It also depends what your um, architecturally what your most often operation is. So if your um, if your data is is basically just vastly amount read more than it is ever written, um, then you should probably think of some, maybe something different, a different approach than just a database because um, you, you pay a penalty for every query and then you want caching and all this kind of stuff potentially. You know, if you've got like a, a 10,000 to one read versus write ratio or something like that, right? Then you need to optimize for the dissemination of that data rather than the changing of it, right? Databases are often quite well optimized if they're well normalized for changing data fairly frequently, but they're not massively well optimized for reading it very frequently, especially in different formats. So the cat again. I've got a different cat. <laughs> so you, you can go to like a different way of um, of looking at the data instead of like you know querying the data in the format that you want it, having many different queries potentially over the same data. You can look at taking the inputs and flipping it around and being more event driven and generating the views of that data statically and then serving them as static files because we're only ever read right so you change the processing model from having to execute a query potentially on every request or every time you need it to just serving out a static file and only changing those files when the data is updated D delaying the decision until you know enough about it to make the decision and trying yeah. to make that decision in a way that it's not um, completely undoable. It depends what your uh, particular um, focus needs to be on for what you're trying to implement as well. I had uh, an engineering manager I used to work for. And he One of his previous jobs was working on the 999 service in the UK. A set of things that you want to be true for the 999 service that are not the same for your uh, sports and news website, let's say, right? Um, so you're going to invest a lot more energy and effort and money in, in things like availability and reliability than you are necessarily in other things. And when you want to, you know, adding an extra nine to your five nines becomes an incredibly expensive uh, endeavor that you might want to be true for a 999 service versus, you know, five nines or six nines for your website might, might make no difference, right? It's Did someone email us about a fire? But the investment and in cost and time and energy and, and, and architecture could be huge. It, it can be millions and millions, even tens or hundreds of millions, the difference between 9.9 .9 and 9.99. Yeah, but I mean, I think he, he remembers only telling me they spent 80% of their budget on availability and, and uh, reliability, and the, the rest was on features and other stuff, right? So it was like 80% of their budget to make sure it was up and available and working. For most companies, I, I, I guess it's probably mostly the other way around, right? Yeah.